um, you know, my, my son who's six is like, you know, he's like, yeah, he asked me something about, you know, what's a geek, you know, and I just told him, I was like, basically a geek is somebody who's very passionate or very into something, you know, whether it's movies or whatever, you know, everybody's a geek about something. That's the secret. You know, they, they think, oh, that dude's into Magic the Gathering. He's a geek. Or that guy's into this. He's a geek. You know, it's like, okay, the sports guy who knows, like, every statistic first, you know, some random baseball player from, like, 1962, you're a geek, you know, because you are passionate about something and you know all these minute details. Like, that's what it is. Uh, my name is Chris Pru. I am one of the co-owners of Double Midnight Comics in Manchester. My name is Brett Parker. Uh, I am one of the owners of Double Midnight Comics and Collectibles. Uh, I own the shop with uh, my best friend of 25 years, uh, Brett Parker, and my brother of uh, many, many years, <laughs> Scott Pru. Um, we started the store in 2002, uh, so we've had 10 years uh, in business. And basically we started it because we all had a passion for comic books and we had a vision as to uh, what a comic book sh store should be. It should be a place where people can come and gather and have fun and talk about things that they love. Um, what I love, I love uh, movies and comics. So that's great that I've done both of those things because then I get to be involved with the things I love. I was introduced to comics in third grade uh, during an indoor recess, um, my friend Damian Hill, who I had no contact with anymore, but um, he just decided over the course of this indoor recess, where you're stuck inside, indoor recess stinks, um, he told me about the X-Men. And I had never heard of the X-Men. I had, you know, everyone knows Spider-Man, everyone knows, you know, Hulk and things like that. But the X-Men before the movies and everything like that, like way back in the day, not a lot of people knew about them. They were a very popular comic, but not a very popular just pop culture knowledge thing. Um, so right at that moment, I knew like, okay, this is a guy with claws. I'm like, wow, that's completely awesome. Growing up, Scott and I, uh, we got into the G.I. Joe and Transformers comics that Marvel put out, because uh, we were into the toys and the cartoon as well. And then from there, when I met Brett in high school, he was actually reading comics in, in class. And um, I was like, oh, what are you reading? And then he said, oh, you gotta read the X-Men. You know, the X-Men's like the best. So I remember like my mom picked me up that day. I'm like, hey, can we go to the comic store? And I had never been to one since in third grade. So I mean, comics have been an active part of my life uh, since third grade. How old are you in third grade? I don't even know, since I was little. I'm very confident, um, and I don't know if I'm you know, being overly optimistic because it's my field right now, but um, I'm very confident that comic stores and specialty shops, um, if they're run well, and you know, provide excellent customer service, um, they're gonna stick around. The one thing that we learned early on was diversity. You wanna have a diversity of product, whether it's you know, board games or you know, plush dolls or action figures, or you wanna have a diversity of product. There are people um, that just need to have that item. They need to, yeah, I mean, it's gonna sound very creepy and weird, but there's a smell. There's a feel to the paper, you know, it's just one of those things that it brings you back instantly, you know, that, that thrill of like going to the shop on a Wednesday when the new comics come out, being with the huge crowd of people that's at the new release wall just going, oh, I didn't know this was out and I didn't, you know. Print sales for comics are, you know, picking up again and, you know, every, I guess every 10 years they predict that comics are gonna die, you know, and they've been doing that since the 50s. I got people here with, with technology out there, wazoo, but they still come here for their, you know, actual physical book. I think we've established a pretty good thing. Um, you know, we've, we've created this kind of community, this kind of, you know, nexus for, you know, pop culture stuff. There's an element of people just coming in here, being part of a community, um, hanging out, because when you walk into a comic store, you instantly have a connection with everybody that's in there. Because you're all there for the same thing. 
mostly. And some people, hey, do you guys sell, do you guys sell birthday cake here? You know, like they ask us like this weird random questions. You know, for a comic store to survive, I think that's what they need to do is to kind of bring people together so it, it gives you that experience. You instantly have this connection because you know, oh, you just, you just read the issue of Amazing Spider-Man, so did I, what'd you think of it? And I've seen strangers strike up a conversation and now they're friends. And now they, oh, hey, they come here on the same time and it's just this, they're just, it's more than just, I want to read the comic. I'm really digging owning the shop, you know? It's, it's pretty amazing. I'll, do, I'll keep doing this as long as people keep coming in, so. Yeah, I have no plans to go anywhere. Yeah. Kind of like today.